Hello, everybody. This is Steve Brizetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com guides to Adobe Premiere Elements and Adobe Photoshop Elements. And here we are looking at some of the new features that are in version 2020 of both these programs. Now here we are at the hub screen and at first pass it doesn't look like a lot has changed on the hub screen. In fact, I want to call this particular tutorial some of the not so obvious new features in Premiere Elements. Here on the hub screen you see some of the same things you saw in 2019. You see along the top here some suggestions for try this, for inspiration, and for what's new. These are links to articles, sometimes tutorials, that give you inspiration, show you new things you can try, or show you how to perform basic tasks with the program. Down the lower left hand corner here in auto creations, and as you know from the past versions of the program, the program will create a number of auto creations automatically for Premiere Elements and Photoshop Elements based on the media that it finds on your hard drive. New in version 2020 auto creations now include color pop, blur effect, painterly, pattern brush. So the number of auto creations has been greatly expanded. To the right of the hub are buttons for launching the programs and normally underneath them would be a list of most recent projects. Uh, that doesn't appear here just because I've recently launched a new catalog, so don't worry about that right now. But let's take a look at some of the not so obvious features here in the organizer. Now the organizer displays all of the media on your hard drive and one of the things that has been added to the organizer here in 2020 is that the organizer now analyzes your photos and your video and provides you with smart tags that are automatically added to the video. So if I right click on this particular video clip, for instance, you'll see that under remove smart tag, a number of smart tags have been added based on the content of my video. That's actually pretty cool that the program can do that. And if you ever use the search button here in the upper right hand corner, the incredibly powerful search workspace here in the organizer, you'll see that smart tags are among the ways you can search not only your photos, but also your videos too. So they've added greatly to the power of the program to search through your videos and help you locate videos as well now as photos. Here in Premiere Elements, most of the emphasis has been on guided edits. We'll take a look at the guided edits in another tutorial here. But in addition to that, the program now supports HEVC video, and that's video that uses the H.265 codec. It's used by more advanced cameras on phones. You'll find it used by iPhones. You'll find it used by Samsung phones. A number of phones are using HEVC because it creates a more compact file at higher quality and now you can edit that video here in Premiere Elements. Now if you want to know more about Premiere Elements, Photoshop Elements, be sure and check out the many tips and tutorials we have at MoviePix.com and if you want to know everything about them, be sure to check out the MoviePix.com guides to Adobe Premiere Elements and Adobe Photoshop Elements. They're available at Amazon.com. I'm Steve Grisetti. Hope to see you again soon.